Campbell has a few well, things Senator he wants Graham, to say. Senator Graham, then I'll ask you. She seemed, uh, towards the end, Ms. Mitchell, to be questioning the political motives of Dr. Ford's attorneys uh, by, by well, raising questions about uh, here's how what I can say. how she was put in I'm with. really upset that they knew about this in August and never told anybody. Uh, I'm really upset if Dianne Feinstein believed this was a credible allegation that you wouldn't do uh, <clears throat> Mr. Judge Kavanaugh the service of saying, I've got this, what's your side of the story? Turn it over to the committee so we could have something not this close to the midterms. When they say that she wasn't sure we were willing to go out there, that's a bunch of bull. I don't know what they told Ms. Ford, but we were willing to go to California. We were told she couldn't fly. All I can say is that we're 40-something days away from the election, and their goal, not Ms. Ford's goal, is to lay this past the midterms so they can win the Senate and never allow Trump to fill the seat. I believe that now more than ever. I don't know who paid for a polygraph, but somebody did. And here's what I'm, I'm more convinced of. The friends on the other side set it up to be just the way it is. Senator, I feel ambushed as the majority. We're going to hear from Mr. Kavanaugh, Judge Kavanaugh, and I've been a judge, a prosecutor, and a defense attorney. And here's what I'll tell you. When it comes to where it happened, I still don't know. I don't know when it happened. She said she's 100 percent certain it did happen. I bet you Judge Kavanaugh will say I'm 100 percent sure I didn't do it. The people named say they don't know what Ms. Ford's talking about. She can't tell us how she got home and how she got there. And thus the facts I'm left with. A nice lady who has come forward to tell a hard story that's uncorroborated. And this is enough. God help anybody else that gets nominated. Based on what I heard today, you could not get a search warrant or an arrest warrant because you don't know the location, you don't know the time, and you don't have any corroboration. As to uh, Ms. Mitchell, that's what I hoped she would do. I heard a bunch of speeches from a bunch of politicians who have politicized this from day one, who have been lying in wait for a political purpose, not Ms. Ford, but certainly them, making a bunch of speeches, and Ms. Mitchell methodically went through the facts of what happened that day leading up to that day and how we find ourselves here. You still so wanna, from my point of view, I'm pleased with what I saw. Senator, you still want to vote on the Senator, given yeah, you, you, what you laid out about your own background as a prosecutor, as yeah. a defense attorney, as a yeah. judge, did you sitting up there find Dr. Ford to be credible? Uh, I didn't find her allegations to be corroborated against Mr. Kavanaugh. I don't doubt something happened to her, but she is saying it's Brett Kavanaugh, but she can't tell me the house, she can't tell me the city, she can't tell me the month of the year. He's saying, I didn't do it. So here's what you do. When you have an emotional accusation and an emotional denial, use the rule of law. The presumption of innocence attaches to the person accused. You have to give them notice in times of time and location. You ask, is there anybody to verify this? And when you give names, all of them go the other way. Having said that, what do I think about Ms. Ford? Very competent, accomplished lady. Something happened, I don't know what, but you're asking me to say it was Brett Kavanaugh, and I don't know when it happened, where it happened. He said it didn't Senator, happen, Senator, but Senator, I would say this. I thought it was a good suggestion for her to go talk to somebody to work through this. How is that all, not all an argument for a more fulsome investigation? <laughs> if you really believe we needed an investigation of this, why didn't you tell us in August? But why not do so I this is now listen, listen, listen. The FBI is going to tell us what. What house are they going to go to? What city are they going to go to? Who are they going to talk to? Because they can't tell us the month, Senator barely the year. So this is all delay. Could Mr. Judge tell you that? Could Mr. Judge tell you that? So here's where they're going, Mr. Judge. He says, I didn't do it. I don't know what she's talking about. They want to bring him in, trash him out, and call 25 people. Well, they say that he's an abuser, and guess what? We'll be past the midterm. I'm not going to reward people for playing a political game, I think, with her life. She is just as much a victim as this as I think Brett Kavanaugh because somebody betrayed her trust. And we know who she gave the letter to. And the people that betrayed her trust, they owe her an apology. Do you still want to vote on Friday? Do you still want to vote on Friday? Do you still want to vote tomorrow?